Good morning, Greg. How are you? Good morning, gentlemen. What are the ramifications? What are the dominoes that fall after Edelman gets put on the IR? I suppose first and foremost, Wes Welker is going to be more at risk if he's asked to return punts. Is that fair to say? Correct. Yep. I think that's uh I think that's the way that they go. I mean I haven't really I'm trying to remember the last person I even saw field practice punts on this team outside of you know, Woodhead has done it. Um you know, I think Vereen can do it on occasion. Um but I think that the Patriots are more about um false security than anything else. So I think it's gonna be Wes, I think they're going to pick and choose their spots. I think that, uh, you know, if they really need, if they're a little bit desperate and they want a little bit more punch in the return, um, you know, maybe they put somebody in there. You know, Stallworth can uh, do some of this, even though he was more of a kick returner when he was here during the train camp. So uh, that's where they are in punt return. Can you envision a scenario where Bill or the special teams coach would either imply or suggest that maybe because of the value of Wes did he just go out there and fair catch pretty much everything? Uh, they could. I mean, I know they do that on occasion, um, depending on, on you know some of the situations. But uh, I would have a hard time seeing them doing that for an entire game. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, especially in light of the whole Gronkowski thing. I mean, it'd just be completely hypocritical of Bill Belichick to say, you know, look, we don't take guys off of special teams and. In football players play, which I totally agreed with, um, then to turn it around and say, well, you know, Wes, just fair catch everything. Right. Why not have, you know, Brandon Lloyd fair catch every pass or something? You know, I mean, it, it would just be hypocritical, and I can't see him doing that. Well, who gets uh, the snaps on offense? Who gets the targets that normally went to Edelman? Well, uh, it's a good question. I think um, – I think what they do is they go to you know look they have they have Walker and Lloyd and they they're going to run the two tight end offense out of that. I mean that's that's their bread and butter. You know it was a very good sign that Aaron Hernandez looked much healthier uh this past game uh even though he couldn't block worth a darn in the run or the past game. Um but he's uh a little he's he's definitely better than he was the week prior. But I think they just, you know, like we saw with the, and we talked about it with the Gronkowski thing. I said, look, they're just going to, they're not going to change things. They're not going to reinvent the wheel. They are who they are, especially at this point in the season. So they are a two tight end offense. They will continue to be a two tight end offense. And instead of uh, Lloyd losing some of uh, his snaps to Edelman for um, reasons that should be apparent to anybody that, uh, you know, Lloyd doesn't get much after the catch, um, Edelman's, uh, tougher running the ball uh, after the catch that, you know, that's, you know, now Lloyd gets those snaps back yeah. and he's going to have to be more productive in the short passing game. And uh, I think they'll probably talk to him about that this week. We did see a change a couple weeks ago where he was actually looking to run after the catch instead of just going out of bounds or to the ground. Yeah, you, you, and, uh, you break you know, that. They'll get other guys in the mix. I mean, you know, they'll, but I, I you know, they do what they do. You break broke it down. You studied it probably closer than anybody. Lloyd's uh, lack of production. Uh, is he afraid of contact? In your opinion, Greg? I I haven't seen him be flat out afraid of contact. Like you know, you're looking at um, guys with alligator arms and and things like that. Um, I do think that he 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 does not like contact. Um, and he's not very physical. And I, you know, for a while there, I was wondering when that was going to become a problem for the team because, you know, outside of uh, really Moss, who, you know, but he would he would pick and choose his spots where he, you know, he went into traffic and got things and, and didn't show much fear. I mean, Randy didn't like contact all that much either. But-